the top rebounders. You know he's averaged one rebound per game in this competition? Yeah, that's crazy. A single board, he's the biggest player on the team. You just never know, Shouty. It's game time from here in Utunomia, the last men's semifinal from Lithuania. As the European powers clash here for a spot in the final, Netherlands waiting on the winner with one Olympic ticket at stake. The voice of 3x3, Kyle Montgomery, the mountain, Vaz Rosendahl, we're here. And we're yodeling. Yodeling. <laughs> That's right. The mountain and the voice. You get the combo. You get the pun. Bukelis is going to get the foul. Oh, wait. No, he's not. I thought that was a shooting foul, but instead, it's a off-ball foul called on Lithuania. We are off and running. Jules Rambo. Here comes Suhard. He takes him around the world and got locked up by Ivaldis Jaugis. Jaugis, his defense is solid, but he's also the leading scorer for this Lithuanian quartet. 6.7 per game. Coming out of group play, he'll set the screen for Vingalis. Vingalis, who is better than him in mid range? Forget about it. I can't think of anybody. He's 80% in this tournament. He's better than 70% for his career. Suhard out deep. France trying to qualify to the Olympics that would be in their own backyard. Of course, the Olympic Games here in 2024 will be held in Paris. The women's team qualified directly. The men have to earn it here and now. Gallus kicks it to Pukalis, the Lithuanian, no good. Although he's hardly missed from deep in this tournament, they'll have to reset. Pierre giving the moves. Look at the defense from Pukalis. The French team is going into a lot of one on one action right now, and I, I really don't get that. You want to get Lithuania off balance by using screens, by playing a team brand of 3x3. Now, for Lithuania, one big question is, can Darius Targidas wake up? He's 8% from the two-point strike. One yeah. for 12. Yeah, we have. Which is a shock, not good. But you got to have a short memory in 3x3. If you're dwelling on even the last shot, it's not good. You certainly can't dwell on the last game. So we'll see how Tarvidas plays in this one. They got the ball in his hands. He's working on Suhar. They'll get the screen from Bukatis. We got a whistle here. That one called on Suhar. The second on France. So Konate. Call for the foul. Konate well, has been a, a welcomed addition to the French squad this year. As they, they've been looking for a difference maker. And here he is. Getting it up top to Suhar. Oh, that ball was kicked. I like the play, though. They get it to Konate at the high post. Back to Suhar, who gets a screen. So they switch. Lithuania switches. And uh, they put Rambo on Vingelis in a position to score. Kickball prevented that, though. Suhar has he red light, green light. It's able to draw the foul on Bugalis. Both countries are qualified to the Debreson OQT. That's uh, the backup plan if you can't get a win here in Utsunomiya. Three tickets at stake in Debreson. One ticket at stake here in Utsunomiya. Down to the body shop, Rambo. You're going to get these dents. Uh-oh. That foul called on Suhar. Looked like he got the worst end of that, that, that uh, confrontation with Bukelis. But you see Rambo bulldozing his way in for the score for Le Bleu. Oh, okay. Flexing the French language, I see. <laughs> and a little bit that I know, oh, the Gallus, the fake and the take. That was one of the meanest shot fakes I have ever seen. <laughs> it was so short, but he got two people up off their feet. He got him to bite, didn't he? Run ball. That's a tough matchup with Pugalis down there. Vingalis, free throw line. You can count that. That's like a layup for that man. 
when Gallus is absolutely electric from 15 feet. Oh, did he just D up Rambo? Yes, he did. Did Gallus just D up Rambo? Another look. Yeah, this is just an incredible shot. It's so difficult. He stops on a dime, hangs in the air, and knocks down, I think, his second mid-range jumper. And Gallus averaging five points per game, five of eight from one coming into this. Oh, Tarvidus will pass up the two instead. He wants the yam stuff. Maybe that wakes Tarvidus up. But the Viking looking to pillage. And he's going to drop the hammer. Look, we told we told you he needs to wake up, and this will for sure shake him awake. The intensity, though, of this game clearly visible in his face. Suhar, quickies, quickies, four-two. Vingales. Did he miss that? Yeah. Huh. That's odd. Oh. A lot of fouls early this time. I think it's Rambo picking up one for the French. That is the fourth on France. They got two points through three minutes. Lithuania in the driver's seat. We made our picks yesterday. I spoke to the versatility of Lithuania. And that has been on display as they lead it by three. Oh, Bukalis is smiling. You rarely see that. Quick hands from the big man. That's the first time I've seen uh, Bukelis' teeth in four years. <laughs> you don't even get as much as, as a grin out of this dude. Nah, he's usually very even keeled. No expressions on his face, but he used his hands there to get a deflection, and he smiled right away. Somebody must have said something about that. I don't know. It wasn't us. Now you're looking. No, it wasn't us. It wasn't, no, it definitely wasn't us. We are back to it. France ball. Suhard, who's been the leading scorer for this squad, averaging 7.3 points per game. He is out of there in a flash. So Suhard will get France within two. Oh. He's fighting with Evil Knievel. It's an offensive foul, I believe. Oh, it is. It's the fourth on Lithuania. Both teams with four fouls apiece. Knew that this, this would be physical. Yeah. And true to form, that's what it's been. See that speed on Suhard, though? He took the TGV. <laughs> the French bullet train. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> You'll see oh, when you get to Marseille. Hey, trust me, Boz. They can appreciate that one back in France. <laughs> oh, abusive. Abusive. He took Tonate to school. Vierade been quiet to this point. They are insisting upon getting it to Rambo here early. I think France need to open up the floodgates from two, which is what brought them success. It really is too hard, who has done most of the shooting from long range. Well, Vierade got in on the action as well a little True. bit. But yeah, you're right. They need to start shooting from the outside. They are mostly playing an inside game now. And it hasn't resulted in too many points. Now Suhard right on cue takes him out to the deep end. 6-5. Suhard called for the foul. Trying to body up with Bukelis. Mm. But look at Suhard creates some space in the relationship. They're going to break up next. He did the cha-cha slide to get into that shot. <laughs> Six five slide. That, that, that was that's the electric slide. Oh man! See, I get my slide dance to the up. right. Chris Crawl. Anyway, DT on the attack dishes it. Wait a minute! I think that's going to be three in the key. But Gallus was camped out. So both teams have saved their best offense for last. Apparently, as we are uh, at the six-minute mark in a six-five game. Uh oh, give me those. Bukelis steals the cookies. Jalgis will put it in the cup. Alec Fierade, a long time 3x3 veteran. Hugo, he goes so fast. 
Hugo is just a mismatch. Oh, nothing he could do down there. He didn't want to get called for that foul. So not playing as physical. And that's all how Javis knows how to play. Villarre. Oh, slides to the left and misses it wide right. Rambo, one-legged fader. Big well, fella with some soft touch. He's got the haircut that's reminiscent of somebody, so why not the shot as well? Is that a mohawk or a mullet? I think it's a mullet. <laughs> it's a mullet. Business in the front and a party in the back. <laughs> He's got the cascading curls back there. I'm not mad at it. No, he got right. some luxurious hair. 8-7. Tarvinus. Spin move. He lost something. It's in the possession of Konate now. Konate down to the post office. Rambo. He's going to abuse Vinigalis. Konate sticking with Tarvinus. Vinigalis will track down his own rebound. Up top. Whoa. Evil Knievel. Oh, man. He put put Vinigalis in the blender. He's ready to serve that drink. 9-8. Call that the magic bullet. <laughs> Keep him coming, boss. 9-8. <laughs> 424 and counting. As France, a trail by one. Tarvid is no. He will get the rebound and score it. Gunate. To Rambo. Villarre, that's a good look for Villarre. Oh la la, it's 10 10. Child just got confused there on uh, the play by Rambo and Villarre. He stepped all the way down into the paint, leading to an open shot for a good shooter. Shooter, shoot. And that's what AB just did for France. We got ourselves a game here in the semifinals. Again, winner gets Netherlands for the Olympic ticket. It's a sprint to 11 between these two European rivals. Here in Utsunomi in Japan. Ten, 10 four minutes to play. It's on and popping, wait a minute. Offensive foul called on Lithuania as they will get the whistle back over to France. Both teams at the bonus right now at six fouls. These last four minutes are going to be a nail biter. They'll get it to Sue Hard. They'll put some length on him. Bukelis doesn't want to get beat on the drive. I, I got to give Bukelis some credit. You know, he's oftentimes matched up with a much smaller player. And he's done a good job closing the distance with his length, but also moving his feet on the drive. He's done that throughout the tournament. So yeah, they use him in switches, which is very impressive. Now another offensive foul, though. But they use him in switches. They don't play a drop coverage with him as the tallest guy, I think, in the tournament, maybe. But they have him switch up on the screen and put pressure on the ball. Donate back to Suhard. Hugo drops it. Rambo finishes it. Nice action there from France. Tarvis beat to the spot by Suhard. How long can he stick with him? Just too much size from Tarvis. Konate. Konate on the drive. Hangs and hits. Konate, who played last season with Victor Wimbenyama. That don't matter now as Jalgis drains it. Point is, he's played at a high level five on five. His game is at a high level. 13-12, that's going to be a walk. The pace of the game just went up. Both teams have tried to up the scoring. Take a look at Konate again, driving inside, hanging and hitting off the glass like a good red wine. Oh, don't. I'm talking about red wine right now. I could use it. Uh, those pennies, huh? Yes. A good Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, all right. Maybe a Merlot. Well, I have some people hook you up when you get the Marseille. Oh, 
please do. There's the Lithuanian quartet. Some familiar faces over there. France right behind them, I think. Make sure we got security over in that area. <laughs> One point lead, the Thuania. Three minutes to go here in the semifinal. Tarvinis will come around. Tarvinis deep. No. Virare now. Has Rambo. And Rambo has been dominant in this game. Bukelis drops the ball. Now it's Bukelis on the inside. Oh, give me those. He picked his pocket. Watch your wallet. Konate turning defense into offense. He'll get it to go. And now he's got to try to hold off the Lithuanian. Uh, good luck with that. 16 14. Easy work for Bukelis. Virare will take a step back. Konate! No, oh, oh! There's a collision there, and that, that is going to be the seventh foul on France. And Darius Targetis with a chance to hit a couple of big free throws for Lithuania, but there's the Lithuanian. Raiders Pukalis from way out there. And he has shot the ball incredibly from beyond that two point arc. Oh, the delay is because there's, yeah. Yeah, there's some, there's some sweat, some perspiration on the floor. The energy's just different in an Olympic year. We kicked off the World Tour opener. That's the Pro Tour, for those of you who don't know, here at Lucha de Mille for the third straight year. But even that, just the vibe is just, we turned it up a few octaves in this Olympic 2024 campaign. Under two minutes to go as the Viking strikes gold on the first free throw attempt. He will miss the second. Jalgis, what a save. Keeps it alive for Lithuania. Chagas is just all over the court, man. He is a good offensive player, but he's tasked with maybe the most difficult defensive assignment usually, and he gets all the hustle balls, offensive rebounds. Just credits to him. Chagas might have got away with a foot shuffle. Vin Gallis, not that time. Chagas, though, there you go. Just like what you said, he's everywhere like Adams. That was a scientific reference. I know. Trip up. Then Galis hits the deck. Another foul on France. And you don't want to put Ben Galis on the line. He's a sure shot from the stripe as well. Usually. He's got two coming up. Oh, I, there's that announcer's jinx. Mm -hmm. This time it's you. I'm sorry, Shirley. But Vingalis, who had not missed a free throw on the tournament up until that point, he splits a pair. A four-point lead for Lithuania with a minute 35 to go. So hard. The two is too hard. Lithuania. Look like they're closing in. All of my, the predictions had been 100% for somebody today. And let's, let's not discuss that now. <laughs> we're, we're still in the game. Come on. No, Come I'm, on, not, hey, I'm just, I haven't said nothing. A Lithuania. I'd say this is a commanding lead with a minute 28 to go in France with eight fouls. Obviously, two possession game. Got some dangerous shooters uh, for France. Suhan and Villarre in particular. Big. 
They still ain't safe for Lithuania. But they need three points to get to that magic number of 21. The Lithuanian. Over to Tarvidis. The Viking. This is it less left. I've seen a better game from Tarvidis in this contest. Still, yep. hasn't, still hasn't been his best shooting performance, but his energy level has been there. He's made some plays. Konate. He'll give it to Villarare. Too hard. Villarare, that's a good look. Long range, no. Jalgas now with the with the pill in hand. Jalgas, nope. He got his pocket picked again. Konate now will drive. He can't finish it at the rim. Vingales. Oh, he's set up for the double date. 2014 Lithuania. Game point. Suhard will finish at the rim, but all Lithuania need is one. Vingales pull up free throw line. You know that's good. 21-15, Lithuania will play for the Olympic ticket. Paris will have to get it done in Deverson. So another look at the Gallus said adieu to France. Hello to the final here in Utsunania. Big, big win. One that will set up the men's final, Lithuania and the Netherlands.